Chin up by tomorrow's a new year, little darling. All lane sign and all the other cheers. And the moment feels just like you're here, little darling. Write your resolutions without fear, or leave them on the floor. Go and open a new door. Just keep blinding. For signs of highest at its core And I warned you I get bored There's too much to be explored Things that we can lie in court But the fun really Noise key for the body. So I've got to be careful of it. Peaks from there. Like that one. Trap you can fall into sometimes when you're playing solo. Like if you have a little bit of success at a certain range. Sorry. 
Jesteście. But yeah, something I'm trying to do a little bit better is... Uh, push in a little bit and not get too comfortable. I thought this thing was part of this team. I watched this video the other day of, I think it was a rash, the video. And he was talking about how he's made so many hunt dollars and it's all about looting. So you go into a, go into a, like, ideal is a trio. We go into a game with Vulture, Pack Mule. And basically your entire objective is to get a server wipe, then maximum you're going to get. Or not even get a server wipe, sort of be the last team standing with the bounty so that you get, therefore you get the bounty. You can go around, sort of fill up your consumables and stuff with uh, supply points. And then come back and hopefully get somewhere close to nine loots. At like a screenshot where you got like seven grand. <laughs> I don't know how good, good a job I did of explaining that back there. What I was trying to do is explain how <laughs> getting those two first kills initially, I could have sat back with the sniper. But I'm trying to I'm trying to push into things a little bit more, especially with the shotgun loadout, obviously. But just as it, in general, as a solo, I think it's pretty. It can be pretty counterintuitive, maybe, to leave a position where you're having some success. But sometimes you got to do it to keep bodies down. Hold that advantage when you're playing a solo. That's what that's what I was kind of trying to explain there. I don't know how good a job I did. It doesn't always go that well though. That was that was a good one. Had this load out. So this Cypress team. Been waiting. Waiting for the outcome of the fight. They're here for a showdown, which is cool. I'm pretty sure I had a fight like that yesterday playing trees. It wasn't with a, an uppercut, it was with like budget weapons. 
tell me if I'm going crazy or not. It feels really similar. So this might be a pretty tricky one to push here at Cyprus, because they've kind of got overwatch over this whole area. Good damn catfish, but... I like going for the fights. I like it when people... people stay for fights. It's the fun of this game is PvP and showdowns and... I mean, yeah, literally, showdowns. Drama. When it takes all, I like that stuff. If one of these guys had like a Mosin or something, I might have switched there. Yeah. Just to try and get a bit more range. But it's all good. This loadout. I think maybe faster paced, kind of aggressive solo players it can get a lot done with this loadout. Kind of like, uh, use your uppercut as like a bit of a jab. Ironically, <laughs> bit of a jab to bring the enemies in. It kind of covers like that wide range spectrum. And then use your Alamo as like your metaphorical uppercut. And it goes really well with, with trios as well, in particular. Because you can kind of count on people. So, for example, <clears throat> in this fight. <clears throat> These guys have kind of been a bit more passive because they've been watching the fight come down from Lumber and then keeping an eye on on the Blanchet. They've obviously set up in a position where they feel like they've got an advantage here in this fight. So you think, in my interest with my loadout, it's probably a good idea to try and play on that. And that they might be a bit more aggressive and you can try and bring him into your range. That first fight, for example, that was kind of a good good example of how uh, aggressive people can be, especially if they've got bouncy and they do a scan and they see that you're a solo. You can kind of just uh, <laughs> take it easy with a shotgun, know that they're coming in. Try and use that against them. It goes nothing. <laughs> There's not much, not much point trying to beat around the bush too much here. Straight shoot out. So there, I thought she was inside. <laughs> Good fight, close. Made a couple of mistakes there, but they did the... Uh... They did really well. But yeah, definitely shouldn't have dropped down there. 2v1. <laughs> All good. That was a good fight. Let's go for one more. I'm enjoying this loadout too much.
too good. It's too good. You know what's weird? I never ever used to buy an upcut. Even when it was 275, I was too stingy. <laughs> I think it's even worth it now. What is it, like four? 4.15 now, something like that. I think it's because it takes the pressure off your primary weapon. Because the uppercut can do so much by itself. It kind of lets you uh, take things like shotguns and you're not losing out any of that range. This is the uh, the looting stuff I was talking about, by the way. I just imagine if this was a full server. Be mad enough. Alright. I'm gonna get a few quiet servers here. I think these guys had to fight the uh, prison. But never mind. Still good fun. Yeah, go home. <laughs> Happy New Year. Best of wishes for 2023. Have a good one. <laughs>